phone died. Well, not died. It overheated because I forgot to turn off uh, internet. Um, but yeah. So it was interesting having that little story come up at one point. You know, this whole concept of building this imaginary city with holograms and then person searching it because I mean like it, it was already a destroyed city and it was just sort of rebuilding and restructuring and colorizing and all that stuff and it was supposed to be illustrative of how I learn but then you know at one point it was you know let's find this thing and then some years later it's like this uh, I dream of a person jerking off to this thing and then to this hologram and then a couple of years later after that, for one of my assignments, I decided to write that as, you know, a short screenplay because it was it was a really short thing. And, you know, I went a little further into it to, to, to kind of develop more story to it. Um, and then, of course, today, you know, I'm sitting here chilling back, effectively re-watching a video that I probably watched. I, I say re-watched, not inherently. Sometimes it's just on the background. Maybe... 50 or 100 times, maybe more, I don't really know. Um, just like I rewatch Futurama or I watch, you know, Total Biscuit and Jesse Cox play Terraria. You know, there's certain things that, I li re that I'll listen to or I'll rewatch multiple times just because it's comforting in some way. Um, and, you know, it creates a sensation, you know, the ASMR tingly sensation. I like that better than a lot of other things that I've, that I've watched. And I've been listening to ASMR for, fuck, almost a decade now. Or at least it feels like that anyway. Um, but while listening to it, I was reminded of that. And I was like, holy shit, there's some overlap here. So I go and I check it out. And I'm like, fuck, there's a lot more overlap than I thought. And I'm like, am I that much of a creep? I shouldn't be a creep. I mean, it's not like I was a super fan who went and tried to find her and kill her or anything. But And it doesn't help that she was also from Texas. I mean, I was in California the whole time, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> just a lot of weird, it's just really, really weird fucking coincidence and overlaps of this shit. Um, but I mean, you know, that, that, that's why a lot of people say there are no original ideas, because often our, our ideas are based on experiences we've experienced in some way, or that we have... We, either we've experienced them firsthand or that we've experienced them by learning about them or what have you. So, um, you know, it's just the way that the brain works. We tend to, you know, collect stuff and spew shit out at some point. And it, it's got to make sense to us, especially dream wise, because like, otherwise it would, it would just be nonsense. Um, and yeah, a lot of it's nonsense, but we still try to make sense of it. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was an interesting situation. An interesting little thing that happened. And I'm kind of surprised that it happened in the first place. So yeah, <laughs> have fun. <laughs>